I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you how Action Effects add-ons can help you to quickly throw together digital scrapbooking pages. Here's a corkboard 12 by 12 sheet that is found on the website. I'm going to go find an image here. It's my daughter here in the center. Uh, control C to copy it. Come back over. Control V to paste it. Use my transform tools. Go to edit transform. And we'll start with scale. And we'll just kind of center it here. Let's say I want to give it a little tilt. Uh, we'll do that in a second. First, let's go ahead and warp it a bit. So edit transform warp. I'm just going to move some of these pointers around, give it some curl. Okay. And now, baby, oh, we'll go ahead and accept that and edit transform rotate. And up here in the top, I can either use the mouse or just right up here in the options bar under rotate, just enter a number. I'll do a 10 degree rotation and we'll click OK. All right, under layer styles, I'm going to go ahead and oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, let's go ahead and get a border around this thing. So I'm going to, we can do this a couple ways. We can stroke the photo, but I'm going to create a new layer just above the background underneath the photo. Holding down the control key, I'll click the photo layer to make a selection. And I'm going to increase the size of that selection. So we'll go to select, modify, expand. And I'll expand it by 20. I'm going to grab a different color, not quite white, just a light gray and then white and select the gradient tool and on that new layer that doesn't have anything in it right now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill with this gradient but I'm gonna use this reflected gradient right here I'll start at upper left corner come down to the lower right just give it a little more of a border Go ahead and deselect it so we can see what's going on. And then with layer styles or effects found down here in the bottom of the palettes, I'm going to add a drop shadow. Go ahead and turn off use global light. I'll increase the size and maybe the distance a little bit. Now, if I plan on using this throughout the image or in other layouts, I can go ahead and hit new style and that style will be saved to the styles palette okay now let's dress this up a little bit more let's add some text I'm gonna go ahead and grab the type tool I'll set black as the foreground color or my type color I could do that up here in the options bar also and just down here below the picture I'm gonna type in alley and friends all right that black's a little stark against that. Maybe I want the cork to come through, so I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode. I'll go to overlay. We'll try that first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it and reduce the opacity a little bit so it looks a little more faded. Okay. With the custom shapes, again, found on actioneffects.com, we have a whole bunch of frame shapes. And I'm going to select one of those frame shapes right now. Oh, uh, well, anyone will work. I'll just grab this guy here. And in a new layer, go ahead and draw a border around the text. Go ahead and move it a little bit. All right. And again, I'll set the blend mode to soft light or overlay and so you can see what happened there all right let's dress up the outside edges of this cork and I'll do that by putting a grunge overlay over the background so I'll go ahead and here's a 12 by 12 overlay I'll 
I'll just go ahead and copy it back to the image just above the background paste it and again blend modes are going to let me blend that into the background all right now let's dress it up with some embellishments here's some paper flowers I have let me copy one and I want to move it above the photo so we can actually see where it's at let me go ahead and put a couple in here grab my move tool and start moving these around and maybe put that one above this guy all right they really don't look realistic right now because we have no shadow it doesn't appear to be in the same dimension as the picture but remember I saved the drop shadow earlier so we'll just go ahead and start applying that um, select each flower layer and hit the drop shadow in the layer styles and I'm still missing one this guy right here okay all right but so those flowers don't appear just to be floating above the picture we're going to add some other embellishments let me go ahead back to my folder where I save all my scrapbooking stuff and I'll open up buttons I just select two or three of these guys this one here looks cool I might use that here in a second let me uh, just grab a few things to open up here just so I got some variety Okay. I don't need these flowers anymore, so I'll go ahead and close those out. Just give me some room up here at the top. All right, we're back to corkboard. I'll start pasting buttons. All right, we don't want the, want the buttons to over dominate the flowers, though. So we can go ahead, hit it, transform down to scale and I'll just hold down the shift key and reduce the size I want my buttons to be above the flower so I'll move the layer to the top and just plant it right over the top so it looks like it's affixing the flower to the cork if we zoom in a little bit that button really doesn't look like it belongs there so we'll go ahead and add some shadow to it also but rather than use a drop shadow in this case I'm going to use an outer glow and just to show you what I did there I had it saved as layer style but I'll go ahead and open it up outer glow is just going to put make it look like it's pressed into the flower a little bit All right bump up the opacity if we like now if I want some of that color that I had there in the middle um, on the flower there was more of a red in there I kind of think that would look good against that button so I'm going to go ahead edit transform scale hold down the shift key and just make that button a little smaller and move it right up there so we got a nice little red border going around that button all right let's move on to the next one copy it paste it move it over here and transform it now I can use the options bar up here to transform and I don't have to use the uh, corners there I can just go in the width and height areas and reduce the size by manually typing in the size I want so if I go down to 50 that's still a little bit too big let's go down to 30 30 check and we'll move it over 
grab my drop shadow or outer glow excuse me to make it look like it's part of the image and we'll go over and grab another button and do the same thing a bit smaller and our outer glow all right so it's starting to come together here and let's go ahead and close out some of these buttons that we're not going to use now we can throw in some other embellishments here we have this buckle Maybe we want to rotate that a little bit. Moving around on the page. Add a drop shadow. In this case, there's a lot of reflection around the outside edge here. So we can actually use uh, the effects layer styles to correct that or take some of that away. So I'm going to go to Inner Glow in my layer styles. Select a darker color. Change the blend mode to, oh, let's try overlay. And increase the size of it. You just watch right here and see how that darkens up rather nicely. All right. What else do we have floating around out here? There's a button. We don't need that guy. Another button we already used. And we don't need this one. I know there was one more out there that I intended to open up anyway. There it is. I'll copy that. And let's go rotate that thing. ID is too much. Let's try 80 or 70. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. And now you pretty much dress it up however you like. This is just a very quick uh, example, of course. For instance, if you have some ribbon you downloaded from the site, you can apply that. Let me open one up. I have a bows. Let me open this guy. This one will work good because the colors pretty much match the cork and things like that. So let's go ahead and transform down to scale. Again, shift key is going to let me reduce the scale uh, equidistantly like that. Let's go ahead and just rotate it a little bit. Don't forget her drop shadow. And so there's all kinds of embellishments on the website that uh, you can download and throw together things like this very quickly. And of course if you spend more time um, or a little more selective on uh, choosing colors and, and hues and, and you know feel of objects you can really get some uh, dynamic things put together that you know people go whoa but this was a very quick example I just wanted to show you and uh, you know I hope uh, you find the website useful